I'm thinking about picking that up. It's time to make a motherfucking mall liquor video. Hurricane, high gravity, brown fucking glass, 40 ounce motherfucking mall container. Goddamn. Watched a couple of your fucking videos today. Not bad. Keep them up, assholes. Watch the Piss Glen video. <sighs> Give up, dude. You're trying to tell me how to make a fucking malt liquor video. What you should do is watch one of mine and then maybe try to do what I'm doing. <sighs> First step of your success would be to get the fuck out of Florida. That's easy. Uh -oh. And then you can start fucking with some 40 ounce containers. And we'll see how you go from there, asshole. You're gonna get the fucking park rangers called on you because you're pee pee gazing. Oh, shit. Gotta hide my weed. He's looking. And, uh, yeah, you get thrown out of everywhere you fucking go because you don't know how to disguise yourself correctly. You wear a fucking ski mask out in public like a fucking moron. Easy to fucking spot that guy. You need to think about what you say. Because when you bring shit up, it's more about how it could be fucking corrected and repaired versus just straight talking shit. So you think J Vega 419 doesn't drink his malt liquor, just pours the shit out. Mike, I don't believe that. I think that he needs some solitude, get the fuck out of the house for a few fucking minutes, and goes and chills in the fucking dilapidated four wheel fucking clubhouse. Nah, I mean, not everybody's like you, Piss Glenn, driving around, trying to make fucking malt liquor scenery in the background. Nobody wants to get a fucking drinking and driving, especially when you were seen by the fucking rangers drinking alcohol, and they know that you're the only piece of shit out there in the parking lot. All right, well, I'm just going to sit and wait and bust this motherfucker. Good God. How fucking old are you, dude? Fresh off fucking work. <clears throat> Decided to take the scenic route home. <laughs> and goddamn, what the fuck did I see? Some fucking guy with a can of fucking spray paint spraying over that fucking wall. So last night I got drunk as fuck, as usual. Not a big fucking deal here. Nothing actually new there. And decided to come down with the can of black. Do a little bit of touch up. It was dark. <coughs> Not bad. So this fucker, and we'll get into it here in a second. Came down today, probably around 4.30. Parked his fucking car in the middle of the fucking lane. And I saw him fucking walking over to my fucking piece. And I was like, God damn. Play it cool. Let him do what he's going to do. Because you'll fucking see him again, but you got to be on foot. Don't let him fucking know for sure what the fuck you drive. Good God. I do know that he has a black Volkswagen. I think it was a four-door. Fucking family looking motherfucker. Not a cool car. So you gotta play your cards right. You gotta fucking put your poker face on. I didn't even look over there. And he got he got business going. And I knew. Get your ass home. Grab your fucking boots. Set of sunglasses. Go to Habib's. Bring only your debit card, because you don't know. You don't want to lose your fucking wallet out here. <sighs> Grab those fucking two brown cans that you got that still got a little life left in them. Good God. I don't have any fucking paint on deck, folks. I haven't been painting for fucking years. Probably five solid fucking years. Probably longer than that. I used to go and spray every fucking day. I didn't have a job. I was living a fucking lavish life. Don't ask, because I will not tell. But you go and you buy yourself some top dollar spray paint from the fucking arts 
supply store. And you go out and you just keep on fucking smashing every fucking day. Not everyone has time. Some people did have a day job. Not everybody was letting cannabis fucking fuel their fucking fire. So I decided to change my life up. Didn't quit drinking malt liquor though. Got a, a fucking day job and just ran out of time and energy to do anything for my fucking self. Had some old fucking paint. Came out a couple times. Tried to hit this fucking very wall up. And you get started and it just fucking dies. Paint's so fucking old. And coagulated. And it was like, fuck. Now I need some fucking fresh paint. Sadly, went to the hardware store. Ace Hardware. Picked out a couple Rust-Oleum cans. Yeah. Never really figured out what I was going to do with them. But I decided to get drunk as fuck and come down here and go fucking nuts. That's the way I do it. It's always off the dome. This isn't fucking scripted. Live TV. Jesus is watching. <sighs> so. Well, Havana. Oh, shout out to Havana. Shout out to everybody watching malt liquor videos and making malt liquor videos. This is a graffiti fucking tutorial. I'm not showing you how to do it. I'm just showing you the graffiti life real quick. It's kind of like how you think malt liquor video life is where you get to talk shit and you're thousands of fucking miles away. Not here. Not in the real world. You might get your fucking food tray flipped. You might get your fucking camera knocked out of your fucking hand. You might get your hat knocked off. And you might get physically fucking assaulted. In person. And on the fucking internet. Shout out to Havana. Again. Look at that. Reached the fucking swill. So in the graffiti game, you turn your fucking back. You better have some highs on the back of your fucking head. Because it's that fucking quick, folks. It ain't a fucking game. People get fucking hurt. Shout out to fucking Reed Yeeb. Good God. I'll watch some of your videos if you leave them up tomorrow while I'm at work. <coughs> Shout out to fucking 40 Ounce Fear. And whoever the fuck else is going to make some malt liquor videos today. I cleared out some room on my phone by emptying the trash can that's been holding on to all the shit that I thought I fucking deleted. Good God. And now I can make fucking videos on my phone again. It's great. What a fucking life to live. <coughs> Havana. Leave those motherfuckers alone. Don't fucking comment on anything else. Stay out of it. Because it ain't a fucking game. And you're going to get somebody killed. Not me. Those motherfuckers. Shout out to Joe Skull. Blue Bag Larry. Mr. Matt. Uh, Rock Bottom 559. I don't know who else is really into graffiti. Piss Clint said he likes graffiti and that's good. Shout out to you, asshole. It's kind of hard to think when all you want to think about is drinking. But I gotta go get me another 40. I got some fucking uh, Cobra cans in the fridge. So I'll probably fucking drink those and then I'll go get another one. But I only bought one because I'm on foot. Shout out to James Montana, wherever the fuck he is. And his crew of fucking hillbilly redneck fucks. Hope those guys are doing alright. I'm sure they're doing great. Cheers, fucks. Fuck out of here with that bullshit.